Hey guys, it's Amy from Little Deer. Together we're working through this embroidery stitch sampler that you can find in my shop or just follow along with your own fabric. So we've learned lots of easy stitches so far, which you can find in my previous videos. And today we're going to practice three different but similar stitches, the Lazy Daisy, Fly, and Scallop stitches. I have my needle threaded with three threads of embroidery floss and I'm going to pull it up at the point of one of the Lazy Daisy petals. Put the needle back through at the same spot where you came out and leave a loop of floss. I like to hold onto it with my thumb. Now bring the needle back up at the top of the petal inside the loop. Pull it through until the loop catches, but not too tightly. You want to keep an open teardrop shape. Now put the needle back down on the other side of the loop to hold it to the fabric your first Lazy Daisy. Lazy Daisies make perfect little flower petals. You can stitch several in a circle. If your petals start to close up or just look like straight stitches, just keep your loop a little bit looser. Don't pull it quite so tight. And there's our Lazy Daisy flower. Now we'll do a fly stitch. It's stitched the same way as the Lazy Daisy, only your starting and ending points are not at the same spot. They'll be a little ways apart. Hold on to that loop the same way, bring your needle up at the other end of the loop, and now we're going to add a little straight stitch like the stem of a flower. All done. Next up, scallop stitches. Scallops are a combination of fly and lazy daisies. You'll start with the same top part of a fly stitch, but secure it with a tiny stitch over the other end like a lazy daisy. Scallop stitches make pretty borders in a row or stack them like this and they look like scales. I like to call these three stitches cousins since they are all stitched in a similar way but with their own personalities. Now I'm going to do the stem in the center bouquet with a connected fly stitch. I'll start with a little straight stitch at top and then make fly stitches in a stack down the line.
I'm stitching these flower petals with some tall scallop stitches. Here are some more fun ideas to stitch with lazy daisies and scallops, daisies of course, cute little butterflies, raindrops, you can also create all kinds of borders. Thanks for stitching with me. Look for my other videos to learn more embroidery on this easy stitch sampler. Bye!